folks. This is the uh, Civil War Field Hospital from the 1860s. And this guy is a wounded soldier. Have you talked about the Civil War in school? No. Maybe? Maybe not? Yes? Or what armies were fighting in the Civil War? Anybody remember? Where was the Civil War? Was it over in England? Or in, uh, in, in, in Brazil? Where was it? Yeah, it was right here. In this area of Washington, D.C., Virginia, Maryland. There's a lot goes almost like the seat of the Civil it's just, War. Uh, it was right around here. The Civil War was a terrible time. It's not something we really want to have an anniversary or a celebration. No, it was a terrible time. But we want to remember it. We commemorate the Civil War, meaning we remember it, try to understand it. What was it about? What happened? And why? And what is it that happened then that we can learn from? And one of the things that happened during the Civil War was an improvement in the way wounded soldiers were cared for by the Army doctors from both the Confederate Army and the Union Army. So you see this fellow, this guy was wearing a little bit of gray from the Confederate Army and a little bit of blue from the Union Army, the U.S. Army. But we have him representing all the soldiers who fought for something they believed in, whether we do or not, that was history, they fought and were injured. And we're representing the doctors who helped them. So we are less concerned about the color of the uniform, and more concerned about the person wearing it, so that we can help them. During the Civil War, in the field hospitals like this, especially up and around Frederick, Maryland, during the Battle of Antietam, the doctors from the Union Army and the Confederate Army worked side by side to help each other help the wounded soldiers. And they saved a lot of lives doing that. The, the battle of Antietam. How are you doing there? Very good. Good job. Thank you for helping. It was real. Now, we are with the Montgomery County Historical Society, and the National Museum of Civil War Medicine is here also, and there's lots of information about upcoming family activities, both here and in Frederick. 